glad to be here. The reason why I'm glad to be here is because um, when I hear you guys speak, I know how you guys speak. When I hear you sing, I know how you sing. So when you guys speak, it's like um, my spirit, that spirit God gives me, I feel like it's home. You understand? Like, I feel like you're home. So, and to feel that, to, to close your eyes, did they dance? Did you put dancing? I closed my eyes. I couldn't see because if I saw it, the flesh took it away. And I closed my eyes and almost prayed when they danced. Um, when you guys sing, um, it was very beautiful. I can't even describe it actually. And to share with all the people that need for God, um, it's beautiful. Well, even what Kevin said, you know, we need God. Right? And we know God loves us. And we know God loves us when we're lonely. Do you love God back when you're lonely at night? You're lonely. That, that's the thing. It's hard being a Christian. Right? And a lot of Christians on campus. And like you said, a lot of Christians on campus, and I just to share with people. To share your testimony, to share your love that God has given you. That love that was revealed to you through Jesus Christ, and that love you have for other people, that's love. And I, I'm so happy to be here. I am really happy to be here. And, um, I like to see you on Sundays, but the Bible kept killing it. Uh, I, don't <laughs> know. No, I mean, like, no, like, really. Um, like, um, I didn't make this speech like, yo, I, I know I believe in God, but I, I never really believed in God. Because, I, I, think, I think I left God I, I left God in the corner. I thought I believed in Him, but He was still, he, like, I think I believe in God, He's over there somewhere. And He was, he was still home to me, but He wasn't my, I, I didn't see that fatherly figure, I didn't see that father. You know, I was like, I was like, almost like, a, I, I give an example, like a mother and a daughter. The daughter, for example, right, the mother gives the daughter everything she needs, everything she needs. The daughter never says thank you to the mother. It's like God. God's my father, right? I never say thank you. I praise his name, but I never say thank you at night time. When I'm walking. People at night, I say God is good, but I don't know what it means. I just say it. When I go through trials, do I know God is good? Do I complain all the time? Oh, God is good. I know God is good, but I complain. Like, but I know God is good. And on this campus, a lot of people go through a lot of stuff, and I hear about it, and I try to help them. When it comes to this, it's for them to know that this is here for them, but they're lonely, but they have no way to go. This is confident, and people need this. Cause we, we look at outside, dirty the mug inside. Because we're afraid to share our emotions, afraid to share our convictions, our trials, but sing wraps us up to make us high in the corner. So when you stand, that was you singing. And I'm glad you sang. Because, you know, come you have convictions that embarrass you. Who is more? Sometimes embarrassment weighs more. So when I praise God, I'm in the corner and hide. You know, so I, I'm not afraid. Well, God isn't afraid to use me. Because I, 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 I see, I'm going to give you a picture. I'm on the beach, and God, my father's holding my hand. I'm like the little, I'm like, I'm like the little boy. God is dragging me. I don't want to go. God dragged me. So he's, he's pulling me. And he's dragging me. I'm like, oh, I don't want to go back. I like the life. I like the life I was living. Like, no, come back. And I was disgusted. And he dragged me. He urges me. and pulls me in my heart to read his word. To stay close to him. Because I can't go back. Like, like the disciples said, when Jesus Christ said, um, are you going to leave me too? He says, we can't go. You have the words of life. And that's how you can't go back. You can't go back no more. It, it, it's so real. I never knew if it was real. I, I, never knew this, I never knew how real it was. I would go to church. Ah, the verse take it away. I'll leave it. But now, I know how real it is. How good God is. And still I complain every day. I still I complain. But really, I'm so happy to be here. Happy to hear I'm saying. It, it, it's really a blessing. It's really, it's really, a, really, really a blessing to see y'all. I come to y'all at but I'm in the back. <laughs> I uh, please forgive me, I don't come down. I don't know why, but uh, it's beautiful to um, it's beautiful here. I sing and just to close my eyes to pray and just to God, man, you're so good. And no matter what, I still feel like I'm family because the spirit that you have, right, comes from the Father. So when that happens to the Father, so that means you brother, that means you got my sisters. I may look like my father, but I like my mother, but the spirit I got came from them. Mm-hmm. So, so I, I saw connected to you and to you, I'm so glad you stand. We're all connected. So don't be scared to shake your faith. Don't be scared to tell people. If, if you have a cure for AIDS, cure for cancer, would you take your best friend? Yes, you would. Just tell them about God. I know 
always scared, or feels always scared. And even today, I, I, I'm like, I was in class one time, somebody told me every Wednesday, you know, there's testimonies. Testimonies. I, I didn't know that. And I'm a Christian. I'm like, I, I don't know this. And that's how they feel outside. They don't know what's going on with AVP. They don't know what's going on, but we can't. We gotta be one body, one faith. Put, put the conversion, put that behind you, one faith. And I'm glad I came to see what was going on, impact, all this stuff, ADP. I'm like, yeah, I wanna get this out, man. And um, it's happy to be here. I'm, I'm just, I'm just soaking up, soaking up in and just sitting back in the corner. I'm trying to close my eyes and trying to see what's not seen. And that's God. And um, thank you. Amen.